Hello everyone and welcome to Conversation Matters. I'm your host Stephanie Rem and I am really excited about this conversation. I probably say that each time but I really am excited about this one. Think about this for a second. Is an overweight person lazy? You might answer yes or you might answer no. For those who said yes, why do we think this way? Similarly, People hold preconceived stereotypes when it comes to race and ethnicity. Society has created stereotypes about people that causes our brains to think that a person in a certain category should act or be perceived in a certain way. Today, we're going to dive in deeper about what this really means. We have invited a diverse panel to have this conversation. Today, we have Amalia Amaryllis, Trish, Katrina, Rhea, Jordana, Tierra, Alex, and Patrick. So let's begin. In preparation for our discussion, we have asked the participants to take the Harvard Implicit Bias Test for race. This is a test developed by Harvard's researchers that measures attitudes and beliefs about sensitive topics that people are either unwilling or unable to express. First, I would like you all to state what you view as your racial identity. For me, that's black. And my results were, um, it said that I have a moderate automatic preference for European Americans over African Americans, which absolutely shocked me, but we'll get into that later. So let's start with Jordana. What were your results? So my results were that I had no bias towards either African Americans or European Americans, mm -hmm. and I identify as half Vietnamese, half German, not, uh, not Irish. Not. Okay, and did that? It didn't shock me mm -hmm. because I grew up in a black neighborhood, and oh, really? I was surrounded. Yeah, I was surrounded by a lot of like, and I was also brought up in a European household. Okay. Like a white household, so mm -hmm. I wasn't really shocked because most of my friends were black, and then I got I, I came home to like a white family, so right. I wasn't shocked. I was actually wondering when I did my test, I said, so it told me I have a preference to white over black. So I was wondering like with other races, so for Latina or Asian or whatever the case may be, what did it compare them to or what did it say it they prefer? Say, so it didn't say, it, it didn't like, say it, white, black. At the beginning black. it was like you could pick which race or races you were, but there wasn't like, um, like a picture of like an Asian person or a Latina person. Oh. Good or bad oh, so when the photos came up, what There's were the white people? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't real. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought when you chose your race, it would come up your race and then a different race, and then. Uh huh. We got all the princesses. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I wonder. Sure. I wonder why. No, that that brings up more questions. Other, oh. There's other tests. Yeah, there's one like, from, like, yeah. Asian, like there was Asian. other tests, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so this based off race was just so black and white. Black yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, how about you, Alex? Um, so I actually got uh, your response suggests a strong automatic preference for European Americans over African Americans. Which I disagree with. I don't like my results. <laughs> really? I, I honestly didn't expect it because I did also grow up in a black or community, black and Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. I only just recently had a more white community when I came here, and that's. It was very weird to see a strong preference. I'd understand maybe a slight one, <laughs> but a strong yeah. preference. <laughs> I get I'm white, but like, <laughs> come on, exactly. I, in my head, I always thought, yeah, I prefer Hispanic people or black people over white people because to me, they're just funnier. Right. They just have so much more personality to them than white people. White people see gluten and they get scared. <laughs> okay, you make, you make a really good point and I want other people to jump in if they know the answer to this question. Do you think the fact that you go to a predominantly white school or you're surrounded by now predominantly white people, does that, do you think that affects it? Then well, you don't even know it? I absolutely do think that affects okay. it. I don't think there's any reason to believe it wouldn't because this is what I'm surrounded with. Right. It's 
-hmm. as I'm growing, I'm growing around this. Mm -hmm. So it right. definitely makes sense that this is Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in addition, I feel like because we're all high schoolers, this is all based off mostly school because mm -hmm. we spend a lot of yes. our time in school, you know, maybe in our household, obviously, our neighborhood, but um, um, the majority of our time is in school. So I definitely think, like, even though um, this may be more towards our younger, we're still young, you know? Our high school experience, I think, has just the same impact as, like, elementary school or middle school. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we're more aware now. Yeah. So yeah. that makes a huge difference. Exactly. Absolutely. So now we're more. <clears throat> what was your results? Oh, I got... Um, I got, uh, it says, your responses suggested a slight automatic preference for black people over white people. And which what do you identify as? Is I identify as Hispanic. Okay. Sorry. Uh, as a woman in Puerto Rican. Um, I wasn't really surprised because um, I grew up also in a ma mostly black. Uh, there were Hispanics, but like the majority was black. And for me, it was just way of life you know mm -hmm. I was it, it became I became accustomed to it I had no problem with it I was fine you know I am white passing so my parents are quite pale we're more on the pale uh, side of the Hispanics but like when I went to school I was fine with it you know and it, it even carries on to now um, when I came to the school I remember the first day I came in late and when I first came here and the bell rang and I just saw so many white faces. I, I, re I remember feeling weird because I was like, I was so used to being the odd one out, but I was okay with it, you know? I, I was fine with it. It was like, I was good. But then I came here and everyone looks like me and it was like more strange. Is I it think? crazy that I was happy? I was like, <laughs> ah! I was like, oh my god, I was like, yeah. I walked in the halls, I found the first black person next to my locker room. <laughs> no, I saw, I was like, oh my god. Like, yeah. Oh, I see. I've been looking for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get that. And I was like, because <laughs> yeah, and I think even now, um, most of my friends, or at least my best friends, are from Hillside, so it is, um, they are kind of black. And when I, sit there and I'm like oh I really am the only like pale person here I it doesn't like pop in my head except like occasionally where I'm like oh but I know most people in this school are actually like would feel a little stranger to be feel to be like the odd one out right but when I'm there it doesn't even cross my mind right you you, know? you brought up a really good point um I just want to ask you because of the color of your skin so you said you're on the Paler side. Yeah. So, because of the color of your skin, do you think? Hmm, what am I trying to ask? Because I wouldn't necessarily know you're Latina unless yeah. you tell me. Yeah. So, do you think that affects this test as well? Like the way people perceive you. So, if I if I perceive you, if I didn't know you and I perceived you as a white person, mm -hmm. do you think that affects the way you are interacting with other people? I think. It affects the way I think of myself, not really other people. I guess when I meet someone like Jordana, for example, mm -hmm. I would be like, oh, is she truly white or am I just like guessing, you know? But in terms of like other people, my only thing is like, I hope they don't automatically assume. That's why I guess I don't automatically assume, but I don't really see why it would affect right. the response. I didn't think so either, but... It's more preference, not Yeah, of course. I kind of, I would jump in on that, because mm -hmm. I'm racially ambiguous, so a lot of, like, when I meet someone, like, especially older generations, their first question is, what are you? Yeah. And it's just like, oh, I'm Jordana, nice to, like, you know what I mean? So, like, that's always, like, the first question, so I feel like that does affect me, and people are trying to, like, look at me and be like, like, what, like, where do you fit in my mind? Because they right. probably have, like, a subconscious, like, oh, like, this race fits here, like, on, um, like, your ranking. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And like, I think we want to figure <laughs> out. That is awful. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. 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 It, it that's is, what I'm trying to say. It's I like, why is that important, you know? Because yeah, when it's, like, like once that, I answer the question, and they're like, oh, I thought you were Hispanic. And I'm like, no. Or, like, oh, I thought you were Native American. And I'm like, no. Then they, like, sometimes their attitudes change. Right. Especially older Generation. Yeah, if I were you, I would be like, why do I have to answer? Yeah, I say yes at this yeah. point. 
Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> I figured game. you do, but I'm like, why does that matter, you know? Yeah, yeah I kind of get that. I'm part white and part Hispanic, and especially, like, with my Hispanic side, not a lot of people mm-hmm. know. So if I tell people I'm part Hispanic, they're just like, no, you're not. And I've had it where, like, people have literally told me and my family that we're not Hispanic because we don't necessarily look Hispanic. Right. Yeah. What was your results? I got a... I got a strong automatic preference for European things like that. Not allowed. <laughs> Which I am kind of frustrated That's with tough. because I grew up I, I grew up in this town, but my family is from a bunch of different towns, so I grew up with a lot of white people, a lot of Hispanic people, a lot of black people because a lot of my cousins were black and Hispanic too. So it just was like kinda of confusing because I've never felt that way. I really just are you surrounded by many black people? I know you said you grew up with them, but now? No, because all my cousins moved away. Okay. So I predominantly, like, my black friends either go to the school or mm-hmm. the school nearby. Right. But uh, can I just point out, I don't know exactly if this test measures how you feel about them exactly, mm-hmm. but rather what your, been, what your mind has been trained yes. to. Yes. 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 When you go on the media and you see ten white girls and then one mixed race, mm-hmm. ambiguous girl, you know? I think the normal response would be to always suggest or um, prefer white, which is why we always need the diversity, which is why it's really important yeah. to push the diversity so that people don't automatically assume that this is the right way. Yeah, also to add on to that, like when you turn on the news and it's like three black men mm-hmm. that are like being charged for whatever, aggravating like assault on a, like a white officer or something mm-hmm. when you're younger i would understand like because your mind's easily mendable if you like if you're like just like playing the news and you see that mm-hmm. you would automatically associate that with crime because of the fact that it's predominantly on the media and that's exactly what i realized mm-hmm. about my results i couldn't figure out i was like okay mm-hmm. it makes sense but it doesn't but then from what someone told me it was like yeah, but because what you see on the media, it makes you want to go against your own race. It's like when you see someone fitting in with that stereotype that they're putting out there, it's like, hey, excuse me, can you stop, please? You're like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it doesn't have to be that way, but that's what society has really trained my brain yeah. to do, um, you know? I remember this one quote I read. It was, when you see something, your first thought about it is what society has trained you mm-hmm. to think. Your second thought is what you actually feel. That's interesting. So like you see, I don't know, like your first thought is, oh, that's a terrible sweater. Then your second thought is like, oh wait, she can wear whatever she wants. Who cares? Right. Sometimes. You're trained one way, but you believe another. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. So now I need to take a double take. When exactly. I, I think that does make sense. Though, it, yeah. it always is. What have I learned? And then it's like, but what do I really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Because we're all taught one way, but eventually we either grow up to think something completely different, or sometimes there are people who still have those beliefs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. That's kind of why I was like kind of confused with my results. My results was like, a what do you identify as? Oh, sorry, I identify as black. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my results they were a little surprising, kind of because I was you know so long in school, so long was like. I thought it would be something different. I got your response suggested a slight automatic preference for black people over white people. I was it. I mean, I saw it and I was like, oh, okay. And I had to think about it for a second because when I first came, you know, to a predominantly white school, my automatic reaction was like to fit in. So the things that like, I guess not not like what black people would do, you wouldn't see me doing. And I would like surround myself with like. Europeans, you know, yeah. and then it took me to literally my junior year to like be comfortable in myself. So when I saw my results, I was like, I didn't think I was, I had gotten that far. Not to say that it's like a bad thing about who you prefer, but I didn't think I had gotten that far to the point where it was like, you prefer um, black people over white people. That's crazy because I had the total opposite feeling when I came here. Well, first, my results were okay. My results were that I have a moderate automatic automatic preference for African Americans over European Americans. You identify as oh, I'm black, but my parents are from Jamaican descent. 
I'm black and I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> so when I saw my results, I was happy with them because I feel as though why shouldn't you be proud of who you are? Absolutely. That's why I was surprised because at for a moment I like wasn't proud coming here. It was like I was thinking of like hiding my own shell. So when I finally did, you know, become comfortable in who I am and myself being here in the school with predominantly white people, my results were like, oh, like, look at that, like, you, like, you did it, like, <laughs> you're there. Right. I, I think, though, um, I feel like it might be as though, even though you wanted to fit in, you still knew who you were, yeah. you know, just, but you felt like who you were wasn't enough. So even though you wanted to fit in, it doesn't mean that you, I mean, maybe it does. I guess you could say that you hated yourself. In any way. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what you went through. I don't know. I don't know what you went through. But I think you were happy with yourself, but you saw that you weren't like others. And that's what yeah. made you question whether or not, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's absolutely crazy that you guys are saying that. That makes me feel like... I'm doing this life thing Madison wrong. Price, like, I, I feel like from what you just said, Trish, office, you were like, Madison you were Price. happy with your results because it was like, yeah, that's how it should be. And I'm sitting here like, well, it makes sense. Like, now I'm like, now I'm like, like, okay, yes, I am so happy to be black. Absolutely. But from where I was in middle school to where I am now in high school, I felt like I didn't fit in there. And it had nothing to do with race. It just had to do with right. not fit. Yes. I have a feeling that that's, our, that's the thing that we get mixed up. Right. Personality yes. and race. And I, I think I saw a bunch of white people and I was like, yeah, these are my people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it had nothing to do with it. It was just more of like a variety of personalities. And I, like you said, I mixed that up. And I've known you for a few years now. I've never seen you that way. Like it's, like, I, I've, seen you, <laughs> I, I've seen you as like I'm not gonna say proud to be black. Obviously, you're proud to be black, but it who it's not that you right. It's not that you uh you know necessarily say it to me, but I can just tell. You know what I'm saying? The way well, you carry yourself. I and, don't have a problem with being black. I right. feel like I was born this way for a reason. Right. And 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 that's I say the same thing with you, Tiara. Um, knowing you. Oh, definitely you. I, I feel like you're like you're like you're like black power, like pro or everything. But it took me a minute yeah. to get there, mm -hmm. and I still didn't yet. think I was there. That's why I was like. So you're not at that point yet. Because no, that's just not me. So it's not you, like, but race okay. Is okay. Not something that is the main thing on my mind. The right. Main thing on my mind is being successful. Right. Race or not. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yes. Right, but do you think coming to a predominantly white school, it's made your perspective on things with race? Like, are you more, yeah. Because yeah. in Plainfield, that's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. In Plainfield, it's predominantly Hispanic and black. So I've never been to a school where there's been one child that was white. Never. This is the yeah. first, freshman year was the first time I've ever seen a white child in the hall. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And when I first got here, I told you I was the first black person in the hallway. <laughs> but before I got here, my mom told me that it's people, it's not their color. So you have to remember who they are and what their personality is and take that in perspective before you make their racist perspective. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I did. So it does, race doesn't matter to me at this point. Right. Race shouldn't matter at all. No, it shouldn't. What was your result? Um, I got. I was like, I don't know. You spoke. You spoke. Um, I got a strong automatic preference for European Americans over um African Americans. Um, which is weird because um I expect that I'd get slightly since the way I was raised. Oh, you're supposed to like like white people more than black people but then again i was like why does it matter if i was raised in the philippines and everybody i surrounded with were filipinos and everybody looked alike and coming here to america i was pretty much surrounded with white people right, right? it was the way my family wanted me uh, wanted me to be surrounded mm -hmm. with and coming into kenworth was like oh 
why do I see um, Caucasians or why do I see African Americans or like black people? It's it's just weird since I never like my even though my family wanted me to think oh white people are better than black people that just wasn't the way I thought. Why do you think they wanted you to think that way? I feel like it's just the way that we're trained. It's it's social media. Yeah. It's everything. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like you can't be successful unless. Yeah. yeah, I and think some Latinos said that too. They were like, "Yeah, my family's like trained me to like go towards the white I rather than the black." Oh my gosh, I agree yeah. with that because like for on my Vietnamese side, they definitely tried to like, like if you think about like the American dream, very like very much centers around like the white man. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, right. so it, it was very <laughs> much so. Like when my grandmother married outside of the race into white, she did not teach her children Vietnamese, and she completely detached all like her children from the culture. Vietnamese culture, yeah. So I have no knowledge of the language, nothing really of the customs, the food, mm -hmm. and she just kind of like wanted that like white America, like integrate yourself into that. Right. Yeah. And it's well, like, I feel like it's a lot of immigrant parents, like they want to immigrate <laughs> Immigrate, like immigrate their children into like yeah. the American. Right. I was gonna yeah. say but I feel like, like oh, sorry. But I feel like <laughs> in America you think white people, right? So the yeah, American dream, yeah. yeah. American dream, yeah. you're like, oh, um, the white picket fence, like 1950s, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, blonde yeah. hair, blue eyes. That's right, what you right. think of. We but how we were raised. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's how. We see. That's yeah. how yeah. social yeah. media yeah. showed us. Yeah. That that was. Yeah. That was the perfect life that is supposed to be. What life is here in America, even though that is technically not the case in yeah. 2020. <laughs> wow, that's I, I scary. You. I that's see you itching over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you want to say? Go ahead. So, my parents are immigrants also. Mm -hmm. And what they told me about having, about being in a society where it's predominantly white, they said to use their knowledge and their, what's the word? Their power, I guess. Mm -hmm. Take that into consideration, remember it, and use it more to manifest your own power and that's what they taught me that's, that's so what I want to say that's very interesting that's, that's so crazy my, like, it's so <laughs> crazy oh my god that's so crazy <laughs> it is you know, it's, it's interesting how um, my parents are also immigrants so it's like immigrant parents immigrant parents immigrant parents we all kind of have a similar thing you right. know my parents came to America I mean, they didn't speak any English coming here, obviously, and they were already bombarded, like, you know, with the racism and just, like, a lot of hate and everything, and they immediately was like, we need to assimilate, you know? And um, mm. when I was born, they were like, they they didn't enjoy me being in a mostly black neighborhood because they were like, well, you don't look like that, so mm -hmm. I feel, you know, like, they, they thought it would be weird, but in retrospect it actually helped me a lot because I don't think I would be the person I am today without that but I think you're actually like very lucky to have mm -hmm. parents who understood the dynamic and they didn't let it bring them down but rather bring them up I, I absolutely yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. um no yes absolutely. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm just I'm, yeah, I'm I, no I'm just really yeah. shocked yeah. because yeah. I'm yeah. trying to yeah. relate it yeah. to yeah. my own life and I'm like I don't know if my father's ever sat down with me and said something like that, but you know but father. then I've been taught. <laughs> but then I I've been taught like if you're going into interview for a corporate job, don't put corn rolls in your hair. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. um, my friend asked me he um, he said to me, oh, are you gonna get that um, style you usually get? Like I used to get um, two braids except for the show. I said, oh no. I said, no, he said, for, why? You know, I was like, because there's like a way you present you. But it's crazy that I, in my brain, I'm thinking like I have to look a certain way to fit in. Right, to fit in. Right, yeah. to fit yeah. in. This Which is like kind of goes along with like the, like, yeah, like professional. Yeah. Professional yeah. look. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. So that's just how white people look. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Straight hair. Minimal effort. Straight ball. hair. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hair. Yeah. Hair. Yeah. 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 You gotta fix your hair. Right. Black. Long hair. hair. Straighten your hair. Long hair. Straighten your hair. Like. Weed. And white people, why you got that weave in? It's yeah. like, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> 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 it's a lose-lose situation. Right, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. Um, with my dad's side, because that's the Hispanic side, they've been very, like, who cares? We're, we're going to be Hispanic, deal with it. Mm -hmm. So my dad's, like, very, because they were, my dad grew up like that, too. Right. So they're very, like, in your face, like, they don't care. <laughs> like, 
we don't like Hispanic people or if you have a certain preference. They're aggressively Hispanic. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're What does that mean? I don't know. Be aggressively yourself. Yeah, I would take it, you know? Yeah, for sure. To be aggressively black is to be yourself, you know? Not to, you know, be like, I'm in, I'm Hispanic, deal with it. But as in, that's just my dad. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We don't care for other people's stereotyping or anything. There's just, this is who I am. Love me or hate it. Deal with it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that's 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 how my parents chose to raise us. They were just like, if you, like, no biases, these people are people. And my dad was like, very big because he grew up in Hispanic and Black neighborhood especially. Mm-hmm. He's like if you if he's what did he say? I can't remember exactly, but he was just like if you have a bias against people, they'll mm-hmm. develop a bias against you. Absolutely. Because what goes around comes around. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you. I was no. I'm like I'm sensing something over here, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> so what was your result? What do you identify as, and what was your result? Well, I'm Indian, and my results were that I moderately prefer European Americans over Africans. Okay. And how do you feel about that? I was like, I was confused, but like not really, because I grew up. Well, I, I was born in India, and I lived there for like oh, six wow. years. Oh Okay. And uh, in India, everyone's like white people, like, oh, you're going to America, you're so lucky you're going to be around with white people. Mm-hmm. But when I came here, I live in Union, that's mm-hmm. like a five mm-hmm. town, so, and I still live there. Mm-hmm. So I was confused. Do you have a lot of black friends? Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's interesting. <laughs> now I'm but like, I don't. But wait, who else said that they lived? Somewhere else, was it you? Yeah. You said you lived in the Philippines yeah. for how many years? Uh, practically half of my life. Too. Half of your life. And so, did you get that reaction in the Philippines? Like, oh, you're going to America, you're gonna. Yes, actually, when they think of America, they think of white people. So they think when I go back home, I'm gonna marry a white man and bring, a, um, bring home an American. American meaning a white man. Which is technically not the case because Americans are diverse. Yes. Exactly. And what what if I bring out um, bring home a black man or uh, an Asian American? Yeah. They're still Americans. Yeah. 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 You're, you're born in America. You're an American. It's like you're in if you bring home a white. Yeah. 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 yeah it's like, like congratulations. Yeah. Like, wow. Nice. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Right. Nice. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's interesting. But like, I don't know if I were to bring home a white guy. I don't I don't know if I would get the same reaction. Uh, but um sure would it? Yeah, it would be like everybody uh, sitting there like this. Yeah, we're <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're friendly. Yeah. 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 And how does his family feel about right. you? Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They're just like <laughs> <laughs> That's like this meme I saw the other day that was like a white kid um at his graduation party telling his family he's going to an HBCU. Uh, historically black college university if you don't know and his family was like oh, are, you, are you sure and I was like oh <laughs> did they give you a lot of money scholarship <laughs> um how about you Patrick um well I identify as African American and black and I got um moderately prefer African Americans over European Americans and I <laughs> I mean I wasn't I thought I was gonna get like no bias because I kind of don't really mm. care if you're mm-hmm. black or white but I think when I came to Kenworth I kind of went with like that white stereotype like oh white people do this and that so I'm gonna just you know in with this black person first you know so like when I first got here my first friend was black mm-hmm. but like and my second was like white and I didn't really care I just ventured out so I thought I was going to get like no bias so I kind of right. was a little bit shocked but I was like eh <laughs> I agree though because in the questions when they were saying would you rather live in a community that was half black mostly black half white I was like wait because if it's half black half white the other half has to be white right yeah. so I figured okay I'll just pick half black because right. why not yeah and I figured that those type of questions is what led me to be moderately preferring African-Americans yeah. over Europeans. And how about the, uh, I think it was like, are you a liberal or? Oh, I'm oh, yeah. oh. fully liberal. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, re- 
I think at the moment I was like, wait, what am I? And then I was like, oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 what am I again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want people to be equal. Yeah. I guess I'm liberal. Wait, I don't know. Yeah, because my grandma was like, you put conservative? I was like, mm. <laughs> no. I don't think she was so. Checking. She was, she checking. was checking, but I was like, I don't. It's a test. Yeah. yeah, but we yeah, usually yeah. say I, I'm in my brain. It's always Democrat, Republican. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, you to see that yeah. was interesting. I thought they would ask Democrat, Democrat Republican. Um, no, they were like conservative. conservative. Yeah. Yes, I like that they yeah. added that too. Slightly liberal, slightly liberal, right. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It wasn't like you're hundred percent committed to it. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of gray area. Yeah. Like Absolutely. There, there is a lot of gray area. in the world. There is. Right. No yeah. Way. Yeah, and it oh. The world is God. I forgot about the question, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, okay. it's suggested. Oh, what am I? Okay, sorry. <laughs> what do you think these results say about the nature of race relations in our country? America's trying to push white people into supreme, and it's working. Yeah, I, feel like I think it's so like, I think it's like whatever somebody. You're right. With they, they are. are. <laughs> I think it's like whatever someone's surrounded with, whether it's their household, their neighborhood, and then also what you see on the media definitely affects, and also who they are, like who they identify, what they identify as, like ethnic, right. ethnic, ethnic, <laughs> yeah, oh, I got you, I got you, that, I do that all the time, stuff like that. I think um, that you can have a bias and not even know it, because I really did not, I thought yes. I was, I'm not, I thought I was neutral, I was like, okay, I'm trying to know who I am, but I also know how, to, how I have to act around, you know, like, certain people when you serve post certain... Switch. Right. Post mm-hmm. switch. So, you know, come in America, you have to, like, know how to act, but it's also pushing, like, the white it's yeah. you know, like, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Like, do whatever you want, but, like, but, like yeah. be aware. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. the phrase, right. white is right. Right. Yeah. right. Oh, is that I a phrase? That's a phrase. Oh. I didn't know that was a phrase, but I don't I have it. not. No, it's not. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I, I know. think I it's like all things that we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah. that's not very popular. Well, I, feel like, <laughs> right. I feel like in every <laughs> job, it's always <laughs> like a white person who's like the top. Or like the boss. Right. Right. And if you were to see something else, it would be like, yeah. Oh, like yeah. So you can't have that like if you see a black person with a black hair, it's like, oh, they're white. Right. 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 Wait, no, how did that even happen? Right. right. Yeah. Like, if a white person is working underneath a black person, it's like, what's up? Like, that right. what's going on? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, for me, oh my God, I'm sorry, I really hate saying this, but for me, oh my God. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. Sorry, if I were to see any other race besides black and white, like, okay, now I'm at a place where black, I can see you being boss. I've seen Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey. I've gotten at a place in my life where I get that. But if I were to see any other race at the top over a white person, not over black, but over a white person, I'm like, so it's yeah, because like society, America, right? Exactly. America America has has blink reaction. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, right. Oh wait. Right. It's the first thought. It's yeah. Your first it's first thought. the first thought. It's the first thought. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. It, it. It's it. And that's what it is about stereotypes. And I I really do hate that. I'm like we do have to wrap serious. up this conversation. But I really do yeah. hate that. It's like. I I see um, a Latino and I'm like, you're ri- like what you know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. like, why I mean, do I think that way? Yeah. I hate that, and that's not who I am. But it's really it's been trained in my program. in my brain, you know, these little stereotypes about oh they can't drive, oh they can't cook, oh you know, oh they're ghetto, like all those things. Yeah, it affects it's us just, in such a strong yeah. way. I mean, especially with the standard, because like right now there's a big bias against people who yeah. are Hispanic. Absolutely, absolutely, you know? yeah, and that's that's an issue. And I, you know, who said it the other day? I don't know if it was you or somebody in it class, but they said was. it probably was you. But it made me laugh so hard. They <laughs> I said, think it was me. I think yeah. <laughs> they said, I think we should just go back to where we came from, and just like restart. Like, let's just go back to Africa. Oh, yeah. oh was that you? Yeah, no, that wasn't me. no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, go back. Is that yesterday? Was that yesterday? Yes. Okay. Somebody said and it made me crack up. Somebody said. Just go back to Africa. Or go back to anywhere. India. Yeah, go back to. Somebody said it, and it just made me crack up. I was like, "That's actually not that bad of an idea." But <laughs> no, we're okay where we are. We're okay where we are. So to wrap up this long conversation, <laughs> today we've learned something that is exemplified by a quote spoken from Stephen Cochran. 
that is that you can't read your way out of racism you can't workshop your way out of racism you can only relationship your way out of racism and that's because we don't know each other if you're interested in taking the test the link will be down below um, we would really like to hear your results um, so if you come to the next race matters meeting we can discuss them i really thank you all so much um, for being on our panel today it was such an interesting conversation i wish we can go on and go on and go on <laughs> but we obviously can't um thank you for watching my name is stephanie rim and have a great day see you next time